Hey, what's going on? David Avalon here with Spencer. And today I want to show you guys what I call my standing arm lock series. And this is a way of doing an arm lock from your feet, so that you can be Steven Seagal, right? But it also puts you in a position to do a standing uh, wrist lock, do the reverse kimura, and even a shoulder snatch. So I'm just going to start off with the arm lock for this video. So let me go ahead and show you how that looks like. So let's go ahead and break it down. So the setup I'm going to do, he grabs my wrist, same side, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to cross wrist here. Boom. Alright, so he's grabbing here, I'm just going to act like I missed a clap. Catch his wrist. As soon as I do that, I'm stepping in behind his foot, okay, and as I do that, this arm is going to catch right here. And uh, as you can see where the point of the elbow is. I essentially want to be right on that with my own elbow. Okay, almost like our arms are parallel here. Okay, and then once I do that, I'm doing a tight squeeze. All right, so ideally as tight as I can get it. And you can see already there, it doesn't feel good. I'm keeping the wrist control. And now I'm going to crowd in and I'm going to use my head to push against his shoulder right here. All right. And the way you can think of this, if you're doing your regular arm bar, you have your legs supporting his head on this side, your hands on the wrist. Same type of concept with my head here. I'm using it as a brace. Okay, so I want to push his shoulder back, squeeze here, and then I'm just going to push down right here. Okay, it's a, it's a quick little tap, all right, because once you have the arm here, it hyperextends it. You know, real speed, I'm here, boom, I'm going right away. So. In training, this can be harder to do because you're not going to try to blow out your, your partner's elbow. And this is harder to do in a controlled circumstance where I'm going real slow and cranking this out. All right, but in a real situation, it's just whack, boom, you pull it. Now, some things that people have problems with, okay, one is the, the placement of this arm. All right, if your arm is too high here, it can go way too down. If I'm too low, I'm not there. So, again, the best way. Bend the arm, put your arm right where the, that is, that's where you want to be. So it's almost like just a smidge behind his elbow towards his shoulder. Wrist control here. And then the other thing that's important is putting pressure on this shoulder. If I put no pressure there, you see how he sort of lifts his shoulder and it, it allows him space. So if I back him up a little bit, generally when I do this, I'll be moving forward the whole time as I crank it, all right, so that he's constantly backing up and allowing me to push that in. Okay, and, and this being real tight is the key here. Okay, the tighter that it is, if I'm loose like this, the arm slides. So you gotta really cinch it up. Boom. Put that and finish it. Okay, so that is the standing arm lock. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like and leave a comment below. Now, if you wanna get more weekly videos right into your YouTube inbox, subscribe to my channel now. And for even more blog articles and videos, you can visit my website, which is davidavalon.com, and you can also learn more about my courses there.